Hi and welcome to the Draper stand uh, here at ISC. That's no problem at all. Do you want to go? Okay. Uh, my name's Joe Burke. I work for Draper Group in the UK. We're a division of Draper uh, Inc., the whole company. Uh, and today I've been asked to talk about a specific product that is made by Draper Europe. Okay, this product is the React 2.1 material. Uh, right now it's in the Draper, the Euroscreen linear case. Now this material itself is a very special type of material. It's very different to a, a lot of other materials in the market currently. Um, it's almost what we would refer to as a contradiction type material. Now what I mean by that is that typically materials tend to be white. They generally have a gain of one, which is the reflective ability. And then they have like a uniform viewing cone of about 180 degrees. You would then typically go with a gray material on a slightly lower gain of about 0.8, but you'd still have that wide viewing cone but you tend to lose maybe some of the brightness, but you would gain on contrast and color balance. Well, basically what's happened is the, with this material, uh, Euroscreen were able to put a combination together where they took a gray material, but then they gave it a high gain finish. Okay, so this actually has a gain of about one to maybe 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, viewing angles are about 90 degrees. And so you still get that color and contrast balance that you need, but you also don't lose that brightness. You still get a brighter image back. Uh, this particular material uh, is completely opaque. No light can come through it. It has to be tensioned. As you can see, we're using a tab tension system uh, on the screen to keep it flat uh, because it needs that because it's quite a pliable material. Uh, this particular material changed from the uh, React 2. It's now slightly thicker um, and we seam on the borders to be able to give us a better even flatness. So this material is very, very popular within the home cinema market uh, and also in areas where there can be a lot of light, a lot of ambient light. It's fantastic to reject that light. That's why it works so well in home cinema. Generally, home cinemas tend to have a lot of white walls and this is what comes into play because it will reject that light and to give the, uh, the user a much better even picture. One of the things that home cinema users tend to go for is they want a stronger black and this is what this will give you. Uh, because of that contrast, you're already giving yourself a much better reference. Uh, you can find a lot more information on uh, the Draper Inc. Uh, sorry, the Draper Group website, which is Draper Group Limited, spelled ltd.co.uk.